Hi Michael, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Okay, I know you tried to distance yourself from me for the past few years, but to be honest, it will be quite an effort to do that. Do you still think of me when you go out? The better question will be, when do you ever not think of me when you go out? I'm assuming it's difficult. After all, I've known you since high school. You were the top student, everyone admires you. But then again, eventually you realized that you were blessed with a curse. All those prying eyes in public places, watching, judging, wondering if you're actually who they think you are. I guess I motivated you to behave the way people want you to behave. In the end, you were never truly yourself. Sad, right? Speaking about the past, is your skin getting better? It was such a big deal back then, so hopefully you're recovering from it. Both physically and mentally, I would say. I remembered you were quite a sociable kid before the whole puberty thing happened. But then you started going out less and isolated yourself. Look, I truly understand. Sometimes you just can't stop imagining how people will react when they see you up close. It's fine. That's why you have me. By the way, when I heard you graduated and got a new job, I'm sure you were still thinking about me. After all, you were not prepared for this kind of environment. Every text or phone call made your heart racing because this is what you sign up for. Replying to a text may take several minutes because your response must be clear enough so you don't get to deal with follow-up questions. I'm sure you missed the nights when all you needed to worry about were tests and exams. I guess I also have to apologize for disturbing your sleep most of the time, making you stay up late just so you can delay the distress you'll be facing the next day. The emotional breakdown was my fault too, sorry about that. Nevertheless, it was never my intention to hurt you, and I know you've been improving yourself. Meditation was one of those methods, right? There are a few great apps and YouTube videos out there. I know you've been learning about stoicism too, and came up with a way to help you forget about me. You'll ask yourself, is it something that you can control? If yes, why worry? If not, again, why worry? I know you've been talking about your friends and family members about me, but I'm kinda glad you did. I also know you've been doing some activities to take your mind off me. Watching Netflix, playing games, doing sports, and pursuing your hobbies. I know it's working, so I don't think I can do anything about it. To tell you the truth, I'm glad you're making an effort to distance yourself from me. I know I'm overwhelming and unwelcome, but it's just my nature. We don't need to be best friends. Maybe acquaintances should be enough. Take care, Michael. Yours truly, Anxiety.